to the second practical video of Google Classroom. Today we will come to know about how to add the material, course, content, uh, assignments and quizzes. So for this we have the classroom option. We will click on it and uh, there is a plus sign to create. Click on this and these are the options you can create. You can create topic, reuse post, material, question, quiz assignment and assignment. First, we'll try to create topic. Topic means the subject categorization. It can be according to the chapters, units, uh, whatever suits you. So I will prefer it to be the chapters. So for me, it is planning in management, my first topic. I'll add it. I will create another topic. The next topic for me can be say stuffing. I will add it. Another topic for me can be controlling. So these are the topics I will be teaching my students in management. Now my planning chapter was the first chapter and it is coming on the third category so again these three dots i'll click on it and i have these options rename delete copy link and move up rename if again any uh, correction needed delete if i have uh, wrongly typed something copy this link and move up so i will move it up so i now have planning on the second and staffing on third option I will further move it up. I will move staffing also up. So now I have the synchronized and a systematic way of teaching. First chapter is my planning, second is staffing and third is controlling. So I have these options. Now how to go about it? The next option is material. I'll click on material. So I want to give students uh, the first thing that is definition of planning any description needed and now I, you can see there is option of add click on this and I have four options I can add material from my Google Drive any link file from my desktop or YouTube we will do all of these first I will add the material from my Google Drive so here is my Google Drive and definition of planning so here is the definition click on it and add similarly I can add uh, any video from YouTube so I can search it or I can add the URL as well uh, say planning pro process I want to tell the students search and here I have all the videos of YouTube you can uh, read it before or select it or you can even select it right now so I take this first video and add it so here I have the planning process video as well from the YouTube any link you want to provide of your own video or of anything uh, let me see planning process news so i have here news studies any anything you find interesting and you want the students to go about it so i have this current planning process so this is a link for the farmers. I want the students to read this article as well. So I can select this link, copy it and add to the material and add this link. So that a student can also have any link or any news or any article I find interesting. I can even give that to the students. And the last is the file option file is you can choose the file 
drag the file over here or select file from your device. So I can select file from my device. I have see definition of planning. I have written it myself, certain notes and I will upload it. So these are the four options given and I have added all the four options. Now over here on the right hand side I have the classes. So I have to give it to the management by default and either whether, whether all students or only selected students. When I will add all the students I can even select certain students. I don't want all students to so I can select individually. And the topic this is the main part we have created three topics and this is the material for planning topic. And here you can see there is option of post. Whether I can post right now, I can schedule it for a further date and time. I can save it as draft if I think I should add certain things more. And I can discard the draft also. I don't want, I have wrongly done it, I can delete it as well. So we have understood the post option. The schedule option is I can schedule it for a further date say 27th and even the time say 10 a.m. so by this I can schedule my whole week by sitting on a weekend and at this time and this date the students will get these materials so I'll schedule it a email will be given to me that the material has been posted and I don't need to switch on my laptop or see my phone whether it is posted or not Google will do it itself so it is scheduled for June 27 10 a.m. if I feel that the date is wrong or the timing is wrong I can edit the material also so here if I don't want the scheduling or I need to change the time or the date I can do that by clicking on it or I can delete the schedule as well and I post it right there yes post it So here I have all the material of my planning chapter under planning. So similarly you can do it for staffing and controlling. So this is the way of adding the material under classwork. Now having said that we can also ask an open end question to the students under the question option. So I can write like uh, who are good planners male or female and I can ask a short question even a multiple choice question to the students and if I want to grade them I can write the marks or I can keep it ungraded also any due date I want them the maximum date by which they should do this work I can give a due date a time also and the topic this is coming under is again planning and I will ask the students. So students have the option to answer me even in the short answers as well as the objective types. So this was the question part and the material part and we have bifurcated the whole syllabus under topics. So by this as a student view, we can see how the student will view it. As a student also, the student will go in classwork and he will also get or he or she will also get the same material which I have posted, definition of planning, even the time of my posting. And an open end question, student can click on this question, view question and type over here his or her answer like according to me female are good planners as they manage work and home perfectly take my viewpoint and I can turn in Turn in means this will reach the teacher. And that's it. Students work is done. So let's see a teacher viewpoint. 
how will a teacher view whether the student has given answer or not so again class for who are good planners i'll click on it and one student has turned in so turned in means kitne students have given me the answer so one student have given me the answer i'll click on it and i can see anu sharma has given me the answer and this is her answer according to me females are good planners as they manage work and home perfectly so here bifurcation can be done will be done by google by itself who all have given me the answer who have not given me the answer by this way the whole process can be seen so this was a main part we can give and share the material to the students we can also give them an open end question just a general topic so that discussions can happen so these two are the options we have done and now comes the main part of assignment and quiz assignment that will be shared with you in my next video thank you for viewing